In this series of videos, we're building a beginner's model railroad on IKEA tables using pre-cut plywood and pillars available as a kit. Track system of your choice. The result is a model railroad with two stations, a harbor with connection to a ferry boat. The layout also features a switching yard, which handles the freight car coming from the two industries. and welcome to an, another episode in this series where we're building a kind of beginner's model railroad from ground up and in this episode we will get started on the grass surfaces you know lying turf and also we will add bushes to the layout so this is the look of the layout where we left off in the last episode. In this video we're going to add grass. This type of grass is called static grass. That's because you apply it using a static grass applicator which makes the grass stand up like this. I will in this video present the basic techniques to get a realistic look. And one of them is to apply different colored grass in different areas. See here, I have a richer dark green grass down here in the lower parts, whilst on the elevated parts I have a more dry yellow grass. It's also important to vary the density and leave some areas completely without grass. You can also add static grass in cracks and crevices along the edges of concrete and asphalt surfaces. By doing that, you get a natural transition between these surfaces and the surrounding nature. This is also very valid also along the railway lines by adding tufts of grass like this. Now, to get started with static grass, you need a good static grass applicator like this one. This is the Noch Grassmaster 3.0 Profi. And of course you need the static grass, both in different length and in different color blends. You should select the colors which matches your prototype. Like here in the foreground, I mix different colors of green to arrive to the prototype in the backdrop which is this Alp landscape. Another thing which is good to be aware of is that the thickness of the grass varies with length. So this 2.5 mm grass is much thinner than this 6 mm and for sure this 6 mm is also much thinner this than this 12 mm grass. Another good thing to be aware of is that if you, even if you're buying light green grass like this one it will contain from a range of different colored grass straws in the same bag. The mix of colors contributes to a realistic look. And you can mix different colors to arrive to the prototype color you need. The one thing that does not look realistic is a coverage of 100% with the grass. So in order to control the flow of grass to the surface and therefore the applicator comes with three different sieves. The core sieves lets a lot of grass through and it's mainly intended for half inch or 12 millimeter grass while the other sieves are for shorter grass length. Once your grass mix is ready, you pour it into the applicator like this and close the sieve. Apply grass glue into the areas where you want your grass like this. See, I'm not covering the entire area, but just fields with some islands into the sand area here like this. If you like, you can also add spots of glue in between the tracks to get some tufts of grass also there. That match is good because this is a branch line to this industry. So now the grass will flow from the grass applicator down into the glue and get stuck in the glue standing up like this. Now, once you have uh, completed an area and left it to dry for uh, like an hour, it's necessary to vacuum the area to get rid of all those uh, grass straws which are lying around. What I do to uh, not waste all of those is to use a sock over the nozzle on my vacuum cleaner. So with the sock apply I vacuum all of the areas and this uh, grass which is trapped in the sock is uh, fed back into the 
package with uh, grass. Then I'm going for the next area up here on the hill. The glued areas here represents the lower parts where you could expect the grass to be richer and also greener. It took five bags of uh, different colored grass to cover the entire Martinstown layout like this. Now, if you don't have a static grass applicator, you can still buy tufts ready-made in the shop where you buy your other model railroad stuff. And uh, of course, they're very easy to uh, apply. Just uh, put a drop of glue where you want them and then uh, put the tufts into that drop of glue and uh, you're done. Tufts like this can of course easily be made also with a static grass applicator. The process is similar, you just add drops of glue where you want the tufts and then you add static grass into those uh, drops of glue. And a good advice here is to mix the straw lengths somewhat, uh, 6, 12 and 2.5 uh, millimeter long grass and then run twice with the applicator over the area once the glue is still wet and you get dense and nice looking tufts. Leave the glue to dry for an hour then vacuum the area thoroughly to get rid of that grass outside the tufts. And it will look something like this depending on what colors you selected for the tufts. In these tufts the glue is still wet that's why they're white you can do other fun stuff you can add leaves to the grass once it has uh, dried you just dry brush on uh, grass glue onto your uh, grass straws drop in some leaves and then you can also add on the very top of the 12 millimeter grass grass glue and sprinkle in woodland scenic yellow fine turf the applicator is really one of my favorite tools. You can do so much with it. It's only limited by your imagination. I will show you one more thing I typically also do. And that is adding yellow, gold yellow, almost dead grass closest to the ballasted areas. This gives the impression that, uh, yeah, that these areas are really dry and uh, that uh, the grass color reflects that as well. It's important to keep density down so don't apply so much grass. Maybe this was a bit too thick but uh, from the side it always looks thicker than from above. For the cracks and edges in asphalt or concrete surfaces I use the same method basically with a small a flat brush I apply grass glue along the edges of, of those surfaces and then I apply short grass here it's a 2.5 millimeter light green blend. All right so now you've seen some of the basic techniques to apply static grass onto your layout and what a static grass applicator can do for you. Now let's move over to bushes. There is always a need for a level of bushes on a layout. The easiest way to make those is by buying a pack of foliage like this from Noch 7300. And uh, then it's really easy. It's just to tear a piece off, expand it in all directions put, and push it into a drop of glue where you want it. Application is best made with a shaft of a paintbrush like this. That way you avoid flattening the bush. There are different type of foliage available. This one has got leaves but some foam structure instead. And uh, an advice is to get a, a range of different because that looks most natural. One can say that uh, if you just want the job done, get the bushes onto the layout. This uh, method with the ready-made foliage is the preferred one. 
However, if you like to create your own bushes your way with your color, size and composition, then this is the base material for that. This is the filter we previously used in the water effect, so that material you already have in hand. And it's stiff and very suitable for bushes. But this is not a time saver and it's not a cost saver in any way. Actually, it will be more expensive than ready-made foliage. Cover the table with a piece of paper and secure it in the edge or in the corners with the masking tape. Then take the same masking tape, wrap it around like this. Make about uh, 10 or 20 of these. Then take a piece of this uh, microfiber filter, expand it in all direction, tear it apart into small bush size uh, pieces and stick them onto those uh, masking tapes. All right, now we're ready to paint. I typically use uh, two different colors of green. These one are water-based from Liquitex, so they're very nice to use indoors. And then first spray with a darker green color from all directions, so all of the fibers gets uh, colored properly. When you feel happy with the result, you move over to that uh, light green color and just uh, mist that on top. Then leave them to dry for an hour. Then it's time to spray some spray glue onto the bushes. And then sprinkle in Woodland Scenic Fine Turf in colors weed or light green. And then Noch Leaves. I prefer to use this middle green color of that product. I'm just putting drops of glue in which I place my bushes like this. The one here is uh, without the fine turf and uh, thereby it looks a bit uh, less dense than this one here. I have also added the fine turf into the wet spray glue. So this is what the final result looks like. I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, please help others to find it by giving it a thumbs up. Did you know that this channel is uh, totally dependent on the support from viewers like you. So if you want to be one of the good guys, get over to Patreon, set up a support account there from, you know, like one or two dollars per month or make a one-off donation using the PayPal dialog found in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe and enable that little bell and you will get a notification once next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya.